bitches, we're back. Now it is time for the third round of the national championship, the semi-final, and we are ready. And I'm not even gonna lie, I'm I'm a little faded right now. Uh, it's Thanksgiving. I've been recording for a while, knocking these fights out. Uh, when we were fighting Rex Raptor, I was starting to feel it a little bit, but after fighting Yugi all these times and getting to the semifinals now, I'm feeling a little good. Oh no, we got the silent dull. Oh, it's gonna be such a pain in my cock to fight this little fucking bastard twice in a row. Of course, the silent dull is annoying because his whole deck is just designed to fuck with us and do nothing else besides fuck with us. That's all he's doing here. Alright, so. Huh, hmm, 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 hmm. Gonna need to create some good strategy. Oh boy. Magic Jammer, huh? That sucks. Alright, I really wanted that Graceful Charity to go off because our hand's not the greatest. But that did cause him to lose a Summon Skull. That's pretty baller. Let me put down the uh, Seven Tools Mirror Force. I kind of would like to use Dark Hole. Get rid of whatever he's got there. Fuck you. Problemo. What was that? Was that worth it? Nah, Needleworm, it's effect, just getting rid of the top five cards of our deck. That's not really that, you know, dangerous, so whatever. All right, we'll get Penguin Soldier out. We'll put something back in his hand. Oh, good, because Witch of the Black Forest will bring something from his deck into his hand. Uh, you know what? Mirror Force, we will actually use Mirror Force instead. I'm okay with that. Girl, bye. Is he going to pull a Summon Skull? No, B Ooh, Bistro Butcher. We like the Bistro Butcher because that could... Ooh, damn. Axe of Despair. The Bistro Butcher is good because if he does direct life points of damage, we will be able to draw a card, which is fucking beast. I don't know, man. Hmm. I'm debating on if I want to put down Sinister Serpent. I'm not going to. Let's see what he does. Dimension Warrior. Okay. Um, well, that's the ideal card. No. Because this Dimension Warrior is going to die anyway. Um, that, that was okay. I'm glad he used the Dimension Warrior there rather than, like, against one of my Nimble Mamungas or something. Um, Magic Jammer, we'll place it out. We gotta put the Sinister Serpent down for defense. But I'm not doing great with my draws right now. Harpy's Feather Duster. <sighs> yes, I'm gonna block it because I don't want to lose my seven tools of the bandit right now. Because his other reverse card... Oh, there's what his other reverse card is. Okay. Um, do I want to block this? No, because all I'm going to do is lose a thousand life points to prevent this from being broken. Like, it makes no sense. At this point, I might as well just let it work. Penguin Knight is not a scary card. Alright, we really need to draw, like, a Vorse Raider. Gemini Elf, come on. Raygeki. Uh, Raygeki is not what I wanted, but we can make use of that in a second here. In the meantime, I'll sip on some more Grey Goose. I'm feeling like Jeezy right now. All right, come on. Give me something, man. Damn it. Sabic's Blessing is not what we want. All right, we still got Regeki, though. So, I'm, I, again, I'm really, right now, I'm just waiting for a Gemini Elf. Oh, beautiful. Actually, this is going to work out perfect. We're going to get hit by the Bistro Butcher, which I don't care about because I'm going to be able to draw cards, which I need because right now I'm at a huge disadvantage. Uh, Graceful Charity, excellent. Summon Skull. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Um, wait. Maneater Bug. Okay. We've got Sabix Blessing. Regeki. Let me use Graceful Charity. Let's see what we got. Although, now we've got some stuff to work with, so I'm not worried. Um, I want that Swords Revealing Light. Let me get rid of this Maneater Bug. And I guess we're gonna get rid of both Maneater Bugs, actually. Well, no. We'll get rid of the Sinister Serpent, of course. Um, let's use Regeki. Let's clear his monsters. Bye, boy. 
All right, now let's go ahead and pop a Swords of Revealing Light, just in case he's got a Regeki or a Dark Hole in the wings, which I feel like he really could. Uh, we'll use Gemini Elf. We'll attack. I will use Savix Blessing, yes. All right, I'm feeling good right now. Uh, we're we're doing a okay, unless he draws like a mirror force, which would be annoying. Swords, okay, he's got swords revealing light. That's not that bad, and a random monster. All right. Uh, we have morphing jar. Okay. Yeah, now we could do something with the morphing jar. That's good. That's good. Okay, so let's just end our turn. Uh, now we're just waiting for his shit to wear off. Okay, cool. I just do not want to see him place any uh, reverse cards. That would be no good. Let's use Tribute to the Doomed. We'll get rid of... Um... Oh! Damn it, that's not what I wanted to get rid of. Fuck. I'm fucking up. I'm fucking up. I'm fucking up. All right, we'll get rid of this. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and flip the Maneater Bug. And let's get rid of his other monster. Bye, boy. All right, now we will play the Morphing Jar. Yeah. All right, shit's looking good. I have just absolutely... I've sent a stream of his monsters to the graveyard. Uh, let me see. What are some of the things I've just gotten rid of? Magician of Faith, Hain Hain. Ooh, good. Magician of Faith. I love that. I am going to summon, summon this Vorse Raider. Yes, I am. Uh, I'm going to move Maneater Bug to defense mode. All right, go ahead. All right, just we don't want him to get, like, Mirror Force. Okay, Dark Elf is fine. Oh, two Dark Elves. Okay. But he's taking huge, huge damage to do that. To only deal 200 points of damage to us. Um, if the Morphing Jar flips and we get a Blue Eyes, he's in trouble. Because I can bring out Blue Eyes, Buster Blader. Come on, give me something. Fuck. Fuck, I didn't get... Damn, 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 damn. Okay, well, that's okay. Because we do have some stuff to stall. Wait, wh I wanted to look at my graveyard. Okay, Magician of Faith. What magic cards do we have in our graveyard? Uh, Dark Hole, no. Graceful Charity, maybe. Regaki, yes, 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 okay. Um... Wait, Morphing Jar. Oh, I just flipped it, right? Okay. Let's get, um... Giant Germ. Giant Germ. Let's set that down, because he's gonna run out of life points to use these Dark Elves in a second as well. Uh, okay, I like it. Battle phase, no. I think we've got him here. Unless he pulls Regeki. We'll kill this. Fuck you. No, not as a chain. No, 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 no. Alright. So this takes a lot of life. See, he just used 4,000 life points using the Dark Elf four times like that. Not the best idea. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I don't like that. But wait a minute. We do have a Seven Tools of the Bandit now. Yes, we do. So we're okay. Uh, let me place down Nimble Mamonga. Um, premature burial. I don't think I really have anything in here that I'd want. Well, I do have the summon skull. Let me, uh, let me chill. I'm gonna let him go first, then we can pull out the summon skull next turn. Okay, that's fine. Uh, you're gonna attack the giant germ, but guess what? You will not be able to use the dark elf now. Damn, if only he'd used the Dark Elf to attack the Giant Germ, he would have lost. That's what I was hoping he'd do. Uh, okay, that's okay. Unless he's got, like, two traps that'll activate when I attack. Um, let's flip the Giant Germs into defense mode. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and summon... Summon Skull now. Now, this should be our victory right here. Oh! Oh, shit. 
I'm not going to use seven tools of the bandit because I have a feeling he's got mirror force. We have the magician of faith. So I could flip her and get premature burial back. Wait a minute. I already flipped them. I, they can't attack anyway. Um. All right. Gemini Elf would finish it. Yeah, Gemini Elf will, when it kills Witch of the Black Forest, the battle will end anyway. So that's fine. Watch this. I bet he's got Mirror Force. Watch this. Oh, no, he didn't. Okay. Well, it, it doesn't matter. We want... Oh! No, no, no! So that would cause him not to lose. But guess what? Hell nah, son. You are not healing. That Numinous Healer would have healed him, given him life points. We not letting that shit happen. Nah, bruh. Yeah. Fuck you, Malik, you bitch. Okay, so here we go. Alright, fighting the Silent Doll two times in a row is always really annoying. Just because of how much his deck is designed to fuck with us. I, I'm never the biggest fan of fighting this guy multiple times in a row. Well, we do have Pot of Greed and a Graceful Charity here, so... Our hand is fantastic. I like this. Uh, and we've got Magician of Faith. So I could possibly pull another Graceful Charity or the Pot of Greed. Okay, we got Regakicha. Wow. Whoa, we have so much good shit that I do not want to get rid of. What do I do? Um, oh my god, this is, this is unbelievable. I literally want every single one of these cards. I need Sabic's Blessing. We'll get rid of the Axe of Despair. That's fine. Um, I want Magician of Faith. Man Eater Bug, Regiki, Giant. See, like, Jesus, these are all so good. Get rid of Man Eater Bug. Yeah, we gotta do it. Okay. Let's use. Uh, he's only gonna be able to place one monster. Let's put Magician of Faith down. Uh, Mystical's Face, Siphon, Swords Revealing Light, Regiki, Giant Germ. We have a really good hand. Okay, we're done. What's he gonna do? I figured he'd attack. That's fine. Uh, and this will give us Graceful Charity right back. Should I go for Graceful Charity or Pot of Greed? Let's go for Pot of Greed so I can keep whatever it is. Because right now my draws are on point. My drawing is like, you know, Yami Yugi right now. So, let me go ahead and use Pot of Greed, because I don't want to discard anything. Let's see what we got. Yes, okay. Okay, we have got some shit right now. We we can really do some shit. Okay. We're going to summon the Giant Germ in attack mode, so that he is tempted to attack it. The worst thing, we don't want the Silent Doll to start putting these, you know, defense mode uh, flip monsters, Man Eater Bug, Penguin Soldier... So if we can bait him into attacking, we'll prevent that annoying shit from happening. All right, now let's, uh, I gotta put something down. Let me put the Space Typhoon down. I can only have six cards, so I gotta put one more thing down. We'll place uh, the Swords Revealing Light down, but I'm not going to use them yet. Uh, okay, after this, we'll have the Giant Germ attack. Okay, I am really in control of this fight right now. Alright. No, I don't want to use Savix Blessing or Mystical Space Typhoon. Thank you. Alright, go ahead. Attack, attack, attack. Yes, yes! I did it. No doubt in my fucking mind that he has got... Oh, yeah, those are... Yeah. That he has a Penguin Soldier or a Man-Eater Bug in his hand right now. And we're preventing him from using that because he just cannot wait to do damage to us. All right, so we'll do damage to him, and we'll bring out two giant germs. Yes. And yes, now we could summon the blue eyes. Huh. Should... Yes, yes, I will. Or no. Ooh, seven tools. Yes. Maybe I should just instead summon the summon skull. I think I'm going to go ahead and do that. Yeah. Yeah. Let's summon the Summon Skull instead of Blue Eyes. All right, bye, Giant Germ. Wobble Am. Uh, let me not use... Normally, I probably would use Regiki right... Well, hold on. No, I am going to use Regiki so that I could use Sabic's Blessing and get the maximum uh, bonus from it. Yeah, we should be... 
even if he has, like, Harpy's Feather Duster and, like, Dark Hole or something, we should be okay. All right, let me use uh, Regeki. All right, because I, I want to use Sabic's Blessing to its maximum potential while I can. All right, what's he going to pull? Summon Skull. That's okay. We're not worried about a Summon Skull right now. Uh, nothing else we need to do. Yeah, Swords Revealing Light. Do I want to use Swords Revealing Light? Ba -ba 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 -ba. No, because he might be able to kill the Giant Germ still. And he'll use that opportunity to do that, which we want. We don't want him pulling out a uh, Penguin Soldier or something. That's when this... This fight can really start to go sideways. All right, here we go. So this will give us 2,500 back. Now we are above 10,000. I love that. And if he takes out the giant germ also, he's going to take 500 points of damage. Just the three giant germs and the three nimble mamungas in the deck are just absolutely craziness. Like, it's so good having all of those. All right, now he's definitely got some shit now. Regeki. Okay, I figured. Uh, we can block that. Can we? No, we can't. We can't block that. That's okay. That's okay. Go ahead. Uh, no. Alright, so he... Oh, fuck. He just put a face down monster. I don't like that. Dark Hole. Yes! Yes, boy! Let us go ahead and pop Dark Hole. Fuck you! That was some annoying shit. Let's go take a look at this. I bet you that was some bullshit right there. Oh, Needle Worm. That was nothing. Never mind. Uh, so we have two Mystical Space Typhoons in case he's got any traps. We'll go ahead and place the Gemini Elf down. Alright, unfortunately it would still take... Uh, two attacks after this from the Gemini Elf to take him out. Uh, I don't have a monster... Boy, I do not want him to draw a Harpy's Feather Duster. I don't want to lose my Sword of Revealing Light. Okay, there's his... Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Uh, and he's just going to play some monster. All right. Um. Oh, Tribute to the Doomed. Wait, he put... So we can get rid of his Sword of Revealing Light. And then use Tribute to the Doomed. Yes, okay. Okay, here's what we're going to do. I'm going to use a Mystical Space Typhoon right here. Uh, let's get rid of that Swords of Revealing Light. Boy, bye. Okay. Uh, no. Now let's go ahead and use Tribute to the Doomed. We're not going to need Blue Eyes from this point on. No way. Now we'll get rid of this, which obviously is going to be some really annoying shit. Listen, I know how to play you, Silent Doll. Okay, don't fuck with me. Hain Hain. Oh, Hain Hain is not that bad. Because, I mean, Gemini Elf is not, like, a tribute monster. Uh, okay, so we are going to... I'm going to flip Swords Revealing Light just in case he has Dark Hole. Alright, now let's attack. Alright. One hit and he's done. Oh, man. 100 life points. That is rough. No way he could come back on me. Although, Yugi did win a match in the anime like this when um, Noah, in virtual reality, had 10,000 life points and Yugi only had 100. So this has been done before. The only thing is, um, the combo that Yugi pulled out... I am not going to attack this monster, by the way, because uh, I've got nothing in backing it up. Well, wait, wait, no, I am... Because I do have Swords Reveal. He has to summon Skull in his hand. We don't want him to be get to use that. Um, yeah, Yugi pulled, like, the most ridiculous... Oh, okay. Well, that, that doesn't hurt us, actually. Okay. Yugi pulled the most ridiculous shit. Um, in, the, in the anime and in the manga as well, there is a card called Treasure from Heaven. Uh, I need to look up what the English title of the card is. But in the show and manga, the card Treasure from Heaven allows both people to draw until they have six cards in their hand and this is a card that obviously can really be broken as fuck so the real life version of the card has a different effect than that uh yeah we'll bring uh gemini elf back out and yugi has zero cards on the field he has no monsters on the field he has no traps or anything um he has zero cards in his hand and he has 100 life points Yugi has nothing going on. He draws treasure from heaven, 
which gives him six cards. Uh, the six cards he draws, I believe, is Monster Reborn. He draws two Blue Eyes White Dragon. He draws uh, Fusion. He draws Fusion Cancel. And shit, what's the six card he draws? Because it's Monster Reborn, Fusion, Fusion Cancel, two Blue Eyes. I, I really can't remember what the six card is. But what he does is he uses Monster Reborn brings back a blue eyes that have been killed previously then he fuses them all together in the ultimate dragon knocks out one of noah's monsters then he uses uh fusion cancel and then he has each blue eyes attack individually and all that damage combines to over 10,000 points of damage and it's like the most ridiculous comeback ever and that really sick awesome music uh, God's Anger, the Yu-Gi-Oh! Japanese OST track is playing, and the shit is just so good. Um, let me see, did I lose anything in those five cards I would have really wanted? Uh, well, no. Honestly, that worked out to my advantage, because I need another monster. So, he might think, like, oh yeah, fucker, I just hit you with that Needle Worm, but that, those five cards wouldn't have really helped us that much. Only, really, the Penguin Soldier. And now we get Call of the Haunted, which can indeed do something for us. Yes, it can. Okay, if I can just have two monsters on the field at once, it's over. Damn, man, I'm really trying to remember what that sixth card Yugi Jaws is. Tell you what. I am go- oh, Okay, this is, this is fine. Yeah, we'll take a little damage, but I'm not worried. Uh, no. Oh, actually, no, I'm not. Because I could use Call of the Hunted now. No, I can't. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. Next turn, we'll be able to beat him. Um, yeah. Since I'm going to put all of these national championship matches into one video, um, right before we start the final, I'll be able to tell you guys... Wait. No, let me... Let me I'm, I'm gonna let him hit me. Yeah. Um... I'll be able to tell you guys what that six card Yugi draws is. Monster Reborn, two blue eyes, fusion, fusion cancel. There's one more that he needed to pull off that ridiculous combo. I, I gotta, I'm gonna look it up real quick while I'm uh, grinding out because we still have to. But I'll have to fight Yugi five times after beating Silent Doll here. Then we're gonna do the final match of the national championship. Uh, so I'll bring out the Gemini Elf, and that's it. There's nothing he can do about that. Let me put the trap hole. No, I'll save the trap hole. Just, I don't know, just in case some craziness happens. But this should be it right here. Okay, this was a really, really well done match by me. I'm going to go ahead and pack my, pat my drunk self on the back and uh, congratulate myself. I was very pleased with wiping the silent doll out twice like that. That was very good. Uh, yeah, boy! We are the fucking beasts. The beasts! I really badly want to face Yami Yugi in the final, though. I just, I really do. It would be just so perfect to beat him in the final fucking match, man. Glory of the King's hand, yes! This is the card that when they go to Pegasus, when they go to the Duelist Kingdom, you have this card and you'll get a huge prize for winning the tournament. Yugi lets Jonochi or Joey Wheeler use this card to get tons of money so he can pay for his little sister's surgery to fix her eyes because she has a bad eye problem. Okay, so we're now done with the first three rounds of this bullshit-ass national tournament. So here's what we gotta do. I have to just go through these days right here, just a normal-ass weekend duel, nothing crazy there. Uh, and then we're going to get to the National Championship Final. Once we beat whoever this is in the final, we are going to unlock uh, the third member of the fifth tier. Um, okay, so I will be right back, guys, when we are ready for the National Championship Final. And I'll also be able to tell you what that sixth card that Yugi Drew is.